G'day Sagittarius, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on. So this is a general reading, so it may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if there's something that resonates more with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be you, but if it's not, it'll be someone else. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you all for your like, share, subscribes, views. Every single one of them is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. All right, let's go. Sagittarius, what's your message? Ooh, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Hmm, okay. You might just feel like you've known them before, but... Oh, release your ex. Uh-oh. An ex you've released... An ex you have released. Time to clear your energy. Passion. Allow your heart and joy to... S can't even speak. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you might still have romantic feelings and passion for someone that you released from the past. Ooh, Sagi. What's going on? Well, you've met someone from a past life that you feel like you've already known. So you're going to clear out the X energy. Because you're feeling that passion for someone new. That feels like someone old. <laughs> All right, no other messages. All right, well, let's find out. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Three cards, please. One, two, hmm. There we go. Okay. Oop. So they have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Hmm. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's some healing. So they've retreated. They want to come back and heal something maybe. And finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in their love life right now. So something to do with their finances. <clears throat> Ooh, bottom of the deck is playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Release your ex, this the time has come to clear your energy. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Hmm. So were they, were, were they a player? Is that why you released them? It's trust issues now for them. Wanting this new love with you. Or well, they're just looking for new love, which is you. Trying to have faith that they can find this new love within you. Releasing their ex because they were a player. Hmm. So are you both releasing exes? Or is... This you and your ex. You will know. <laughs> Once we get into the reading and find out what their energy is about. Alright. Okay. Message for Sagittarius is... Page of Swords. Air energy. Innocent air energy. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot. So you want more information about this person. Whether it's going to be balance, give and take this time. Is the work we're going to be put in? Will this charge forward triumphantly this time? Or with this new person? Will it move forward? Will the work be put in? Is it going to be balanced? Do you want to know? Get more information, find out. Judgment. Ooh. And another card peeking out here. Justice. Ooh. 
so. This definitely could be someone from the past with judgment, second chances. A second chance to balance things out with this person. Make that judgment call. Make sure that it is balanced between you two. All right. Tell us about retreat for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. The Empress, the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, and the Ten of Cups. Wow, this is nice. So, <clears throat> they want to disconnect from the world and retreat somewhere with you by the looks of it. They want something to grow with you, this new love, want it to move forward. Triumphantly to a ten of cups, happily ever after. Could be seeing you as someone who's in Empress mode. Bossed up, but still full of love. Have amazing everything. Offering you this cup. Wanting to go away somewhere with you, possibly to... Try and get this to grow. See if you'll accept their cup. Will it move forward? Will they get happily ever after with you again? They retreated from that before. Justice. Wanting to balance things out with you. Definitely wanting to balance this out with you. Wanting to retreat with you, I'm hearing. Yeah, judgment. Wanting that second chance. Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning. Five of Cups after the disappointment. Knight of Cups, my Keeper Subtle and in Lost Boys card. <laughs> um, actions of love. Wanting those actions of love with you. Want to get in deep with you. After that disappointment of this just being passion, possibly. Wanting another chance. Yeah, I think they want to get you alone. <laughs> Separate you from the crowd. <laughs> Oh, four of pentacles. Could want to lock you up somewhere, but, um, yeah, they've been holding back and holding on to you. They haven't let you go. They don't want to let you go, I'm hearing. They don't want to let you go. All right. Tell me about healing family issues for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Well, okay, that's a lot they want to heal. Queen of Cups, loving water energy. The Emperor, all four kings in one. The Death card, mm. the Four of Swords, the Tower, there's a lot of mages here. And the King of Swords, Mastering Hair Energy. So they want to heal this. They still have all this love that they want to give you. They're having to keep it under control right now because things ended. They wanted this to transform into a new beginning and to heal things with you. This sudden change... That they're going to come and communicate with you and tell you, like, with maturity. You might be shocked by their maturity. Or they could be shocked at the fact that you cut them out. They're really shocked at the fact you cut them out, yeah. They want to heal this and have another, bring this back to life. Transform this into something that will heal. I think they're quite shocked at the fact that you killed it. That you cut them out. Because perhaps though they had this love. 
but they were too controlling with their love. Trying to control everything, even though they loved you a lot. They tried to control everything that caused the ending. Now they want to heal it. They're totally shocked at the fact that you cut them out. They want to heal that. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, they want to balance things out with you. They want balance, give and take now. They definitely want to heal this and balance it out with you. The Fool, they want a new beginning here. The Hierophant, have they learnt their lessons? Six of Swords, moving on. The Lovers, you are their soulmate. You are their soulmate. They want to move to calmer waters. They possibly want to commit now or they've learnt something. Take that leap of faith to commit to you. Could all even be a proposal, I'm hearing. Um, not going to be for everyone. They're taking that leap of faith. That they want to commit to you. Move to calmer waters. Seeing you as their soulmate. Want to move forward with you. Hmm. got a frown on my face because of this finances and career don't like that tell me about finances and career for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius <sighs> magician Financial issues are a factor for them right now. They're trying to manifest something here. <coughs> I'm worried that they're trying to manifest you in because their finances aren't doing the best. Hmm. I'm not seeing pentacles anywhere else though. Hmm. It could be just working on their finances, trying to get themselves stable to manifest something in oh there we go four of one stability passionate stability stable passion not in and out passion um yeah their finances they're trying to manifest stability here they do want this passionate new beginning with you the moon there's some secrets here oh the secret is nine of swords they can't sleep at night thinking about you Seven of Wands, they want to f stand up and fight for this. What's under that? Eight of Cups, yeah. They could be a bit defensive because you walked away. They don't know what to do here. Temperance, they're trying to be really patient, let this wheel turn. Get themselves balanced here to come in and offer you something stable, which is what they're working on. But yeah, a passionate new beginning, they don't know. They're stressed about it. Are you going to turn their back on them and walk away? Hmm. Alright. Let's find out a bit more about them. And see what the advice for you is from this deck. Alright, message for Sagittarius at the bottom is Journey. It's a bit like the fool taking that leap of faith or going on a journey. Man holding a coin. It's like the King of Pentacles. Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel or Chamuel, which is the solar plexus, an angel of balance. So you're trying to get yourself balanced in your life, especially within your soul. <sighs> yeah, getting yourself into a more stable position here, ready to offer stability to somebody, ready to go on that journey, going on that journey, getting yourself financially stable, emotionally st stability all round, working on your soul plexus, your soul star, your confidence, your self worth, um, yeah, 
Getting yourself in balance, yeah. You're on a journey of yourself, getting yourself balanced, getting yourself stable. Yeah, you keep doing that. Good on you, Saggy. Good on you. That's good. And if you're not doing that, get on it. <laughs> Doesn't affect anybody else. It's just self-work. So go for it. All right. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. What else can you tell us? Three cards, please. Hmm. It's one, two, three. Okay. So they have journey. Ooh, they're going on a journey too. Interesting. Door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. So there's that healing under the healing. That came out for another sign. I can't remember who else had. They had healing and healing. Um, and walking away. Walking away from something. Hmm. Bottom of the deck for them is the magician in the mirror. What you see in the mirror is what you will manifest. Deceit. They're fooling themselves on something. Rest and rejuvenation, that's the devil basically. Um, rest and rejuvenation, it's a bit like Four of Swords. And all tied up. Eight of Swords in a way. So, they're all tied up. Needing to rest and rejuvenate, but they're lying about something. Whatever they're manifesting here. Yeah. Like I said, I'm worried that they're trying to manifest you in for stability. That they're just looking at your coinage. Because, hey, you're working on your coinage. You're getting yourself s stable in all aspects of your life. <sighs> Is that why they're coming back? Trying to manifest you in? Because it's a lie. They're being lazy. Feeling stuck. Being very patient here. But they're really anxious about something. They're yeah, envious of you. There you go. Opening that door to romance with communication with the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Holding out their heart, wanting this caring connection. But is it just a contract because they want stability? Hmm. You had a bad feeling about that finances and career. I'm like, oh, these cards are not coming together well. What's going on there? I'm like, we've got retreat and journey, okay? So they want to retreat and take you on a journey somewhere to get you alone, to heal things, but it's a personal healing for them and happiness. And then finances and career manifesting you in for stability and then walking away because it's all about playfulness and passion, trying to manifest in... Something for themselves. Oh, I hope I'm not right. You would know if this past person's done this to you before. Alright, message for Sagittarius is... Two of Cups. Eight of Wands, Three of Coins, and a Home of Love, Palace of Cups. So you're looking for this Two of Cups, emotionally on the same, seeing eye to eye emotionally on the same level. Passionate communication back and forth. People, both of you putting in that work to make this a loving home. That's what you want. This is what you want. A loving home. Where you're both putting in the work. There's passionate communication between you two. And there is love. That's what you're looking for. This, uh, yeah, see, you're good, Saji. You're all good. You're good. You're working on yourself. You're looking for the right thing. You're stable and grounded and wanting commitment here. This person, I don't know. Alright, tell me about journey for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Whoa. Okay. It's a lot. 
And these two came out last, or three. That one, and then ones, and that was first. Alright, what's this journey they want to take Saji on? Palace of Coins, a home of stability. The Moon. Yeah. Ace of Cups, it's a beautiful cup. I love it. Knight of Coins, Actions of Stability, Actions of Earth. Six of Swords. The Fool. Page of Cups, Innocence of Water. The Wheel. Ten of Cups. <sighs> Seven of Swords. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. So the journey they want to take you on is the Palace of Coins, a stable home. They want to come to your stable home. But there's secrets here about this love that they're offering you. They may take some actions of stability here. And trying to move to Karma Waters is the reason why. To have this new beginning with you. They may even apologise to you to try and get the wheel to turn in their favour here and get this happily ever after with you, but then it's a lie. The cheating lines, they're sneaking off with your stuff. They're just going to cheat and lie and steal again. The action is to only the offering this cup, but the action is to only move to to move to Karma Waters and have this new beginning. Like right from the start, the stability—that's the secret. They're after your stability, what you've got in your awesome, stable house. So they'll offer you love. They'll put in a little bit of action here to move to Karma Waters. Once they get this new beginning. Yeah, wanting this new beginning. They may apologise to get the wheel turning in their favour. And once they get this, you think it's all happily ever after, then there's betrayal. Sneaking off. It's a, they're taking you on a journey. Around the long way. Three of Wands. They're waiting for those ships to come in for them. Yeah, well, definitely, because we've got the Nine of Coins. This is a single person. Stability. Someone who's single, independent, stable on their own, doesn't need anybody. That's what they're taking you on a journey for. They want to set themselves up, but be single. King of Cups, water and mastering water energy. They've mastered their emotions. They know how to turn it on and turn it off. Um, nine of Swords, going to cause a headache, a, a nightmare for you when they leave you hanging. Or you left them hanging, it did their head in. So they're going to come in and only offer you a fraction of a cup, control their emotions because they're after your money. They want stability. They're trying to manifest stability here. And coming to you for it. Taking you on a trip. Mm. Tell me about door to personal healing and happiness for this love energy. Coming towards Sagittarius. Damn it. I hate it when I'm right. Four of Cups. Yeah, they're not interested in your offer of love. It's all about their own personal healing and happiness. But they're not really interested in your offer. And you're a gift from the divine. But, you know, they'd rather sit here with these three cups that are not divine. So, yeah, they're not interested in the offer. And they don't want to miss the opportunity to get their personal, personal, just for them, healing and happiness here. Yeah, like they have in the past, Six of Cups. They've done this to you in the past, haven't they? That's why you, they were the ex you were releasing. Player. They've done it in the past. 
They think they can, they don't want to miss this opportunity like they have in the past to get their um, own healing and happiness out of you. Ace of Swords. Yeah, the, the truth is they just want to cause conflict. Page of Swords. Innocent air energy, gathering information here, temperance, being very patient. Ooh, so they're being really patient here, gathering information about you. And then they'll cause conflict and possibly they'll just cut and run. Because that's the truth. They're, they're, they will pick a fight once they get the info or whatever it is they need. And they're willing to be patient until they get it. Possibly bank information or, you know, whatever. Combination to your safe. Something. Nine of Wands. They feel like a wounded warrior, but they're not giving up. And they're tired of doing this, but they're not giving up. Yeah, they're wounded. They want you to heal them. But they're, you know, they're not interested in you. I'm sorry, doll. I'm sorry, Saggy. There's a reason why you release them. Don't forget it. Tell me about walking away for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius. It's not really love, is it? Tell me about walking away. See, they're going to walk away. Tell me about that walking away for them. Oh, you're kidding me. <sighs> Three of Cups. The Death Card. And the Empress. Yep. Yeah. Yep, they will walk away once they celebrate the fact that they've transformed into an empress mode. Once they're abundant and growing and got everything that they want, they'll walk away. There'll be no reunion. This will be over because they now have what they want to grow. Whatever they want, the abundance. Could be even a third party. But they're walking away from you. I don't see them walking away from a third party to transform this into something that'll grow with you. I don't like them. The star. What's their wish fulfillment? To walk away. This is their wish. To celebrate the fact that they have transformed into an empress by walking away from you. This is what they wish to do. This is how they want to heal. I'm all healed now, so I'm going. You've given me healing and happiness like you always have in the past. And now I'm walking off. Again, Ace of Wands at the bottom. They might use their wand power to con you into this. Palace of Wands, it's a house of passion and action. Four of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, yeah, they possibly have one. Queen of Wands is um, loving fire energy. This is all fire. Um, can be the other woman or man. She's very passionate and confident and sexy and she goes after what she wants. She's not necessarily one that settles down. That's why she can be seen as the mistress. Um, yeah, they want stability with someone else. I mean, that could be you, but look, five of cups. No, it's not you. It's You're left in disappointment. They're going to disappoint you because, look, there's disappointment between the king and queen of wands. The hierophant and the queen of coins. See, that's <sighs> ghosting you because there's someone else they want this commitment and stability with. Between you two, it's it's just disappointment for them. They want to get stability back in their own life and they'll use their wand to get it. Damn it. Oh, Saggy. 
Don't you dare get fooled by this. Yeah, them wanting to come in and heal things between you is about them getting themselves balanced, about them getting what they want. They're taking you on a trip that ends in a lie. Because they're trying to manifest stability in their life with finances. So don't be fooled, doll. All right, what's the message? Oh, got the hiccup. A hiccup. Message for Sagittarius, please. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. Yeah. This is them. Don't you dare chase this person. Don't you dare. They're chasing you though. Because they're after something. They've been abandoned. And left out in the cold. And now they want your stability back. See? Palm tree stability. Security. Permanence. Growth. Endurance. Flexibility. But seduction, they're going to seduce you. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. You need to ascend above this seduction of this person that's only after your stability. That's why they're chasing you. You need to ascend and prepare for a real union with someone. This person's a narcissist. It's not not available, mate. Sorry. You want to apologise and heal things? That's fine. Yep. Okay, no worries. Yeah, because you want paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. Enjoying each other. You want something that is like paradise for you. You deserve that. Your cards have been awesome. You're doing your work. You're getting yourself stable. You're all, you're preparing for a union for sure. But not with this person. They want to apologise? Fine. Want to heal things? Fine. Yeah, okay. No hard feelings. Um, I've got to go. Hmm. Yeah, moving on. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yeah, you need to close this out. Get them out of your readings. Fast. <laughs> With lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, you'll be surprised how things change too for you. All right, once you get rid of this karmic relationship, because that's what it is. All right. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. What else can you tell us? At least three cards, please. Yes. Two. Three. Four. All right. So they have karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. They know this is not a, yeah, it's a karmic relationship because they need to have lessons to learn here. But, you know, they're going to cause turmoil. They're going to trigger you once they get what they want. Acts, break up, separation, stop the patterns, silent treatment, abandonment. Once they get what they want, they're breaking up. They're separating. They'll stop this pattern of being nice. You'll get the silent treatment and they'll just abandon you. Girl talk, see? Time with friends, moving on, they'll move on. Happily single, living in the moment, having fun, because this is how they've always been. It's playfulness to them. They're happily single, just living in the moment. Oh, it's only having fun. And boat, receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on again, closure issues. They will get what they need from you. And then they will move on. But there will be closure issues because they want to leave the door open a crack so they can come back when they need you again, like they have in the past. Bottom of the deck for them, love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, love calls, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. 
paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving, affection, falling in love. See, this is all beautiful. Look at that. And look at this. Keys on a ring, many options, decisions. I was wondering if that was someone else. Unconventional string along one night sand, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand. So they're being really strate strategic here. They've got other options that they've got their eye on here. They're possibly um, going to gaslight you. Um, yeah, because they've got other options. This is a string along. And how they're going to string you along? With kisses and all this, oh, you're my paradise and love calls and oh, you're my one. Passion. Yeah, this is this is the thing. This is all this all looks new really nice, doesn't it? But look at what's on the table. Once they get what they want, which they will do by doing all of this, they're off. We saw it here with the journey. All that came out and right at the end Looked like it was all going to be fine, and they're cheating line still, and they're sneaking off with your stuff. They're trying to manifest in for themselves, and they're walking away from an empress. Someone who turned them into an empress. <sighs> you deserve so much better, Saggy. Your energy has been awesome. Do not let them come in and rip it out from you. All right, message. What would you like to say? <sighs> there was someone else. I'm keeping you a secret. I'm sorry I lied to you. You turned me on. Okay, so this person's obviously hot. You're attracted to them. Fair enough. You might be looking at, there's someone else. Oh, this is, this is what you're going to tell them. There's someone else. Um, and you're going to keep it a secret that you even spoke to this person. I've got to keep you a secret because I'm with someone else. Yeah, I'm sorry about the past too. Sorry about how you lied to me. Um, yeah, you still turned me on. Which is the passion that they, yeah, you've got, you feel like home, but I think it's, they think you feel like home. You're gonna, yeah, I mean, they know the wand works on you. You've got to feel safe with you. How can you feel safe with this person? Oh, I'm getting you feel safe being able to deflect this person. You feeling like you're pretty good, good now that you know how to deflect this person. Oh, I've got an itchy foot. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. This love energy coming towards Sagittarius. What would they like to say to Sagittarius? At least three cards, please. Alright, that didn't want to... That was like the ending. How did they fall? Alright. Okay. I'm going to read them this way. I've hidden my love for you. I miss you. I'm scared I'll get hurt so I run. They miss your stability. And they do miss you because you make them feel good. Definitely. Hiding their love? Um, that's my, well, what they say. But hiding the fact that they love your stability and they miss that. And they get scared because they will have to put in, you know, 
put in that stability back for you, so they run. Get scared of that hard work, so they run. Bottom of the deck. I feel safe with you. You betcha they do. I hope you can forgive me again. You make my skin tingle. There's that passion. And I'm afraid you will reject me. Oh, yeah, mate. You better worry. Because I reckon Sadji's going to tell you to hit the road, Jack. We will be together again. I wish things were different. I now know what I lost here financially. Songs remind me of you. But, yeah, I think... um, they're a bit weary coming in this time. That's why they want to get you off on your own with retreat. Take you on this journey on your own where you don't have backup. But I don't think you're going to need it. Yeah, there's passion between you two. You might roll in the hay, but that's, you know, it's not going to earn any further than that. They are so hoping you can forgive them. Because they feel safe with you. You're their safety net. Saggy, saggy, saggy. Don't fall for this. Do not let them in. They're sneaking off with your stuff and walking away looking pretty. All right. Well, that's your reading. Like, you're doing awesome. So, just I think this could be a test from the universe. Um,. Yeah, once you get rid of this and you reject this, don't get fooled by it again. Ask them to show stability before you even think about showing anything back to them, giving anything to them. They've got to put in a lot of work to make up to heal things. But even still, they're patient. They'll wait. So, really, this is a test. This is a karmic. You've got a lesson to learn here too. So you need to learn the lesson that, that you do. No, this is not your person. Okay. All right. Well, all the best. Um, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Say thank you for the heads up. And hit that like button. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll do another reading in a few days and we'll see what's going on then. All right. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.